Wiles scheduled Marciano to take on light heavyweight champ Archie Moore. The threat of a hurricane postponed the fight for a day, but a crowd of over 61,000 flooded Yankee Stadium to see Rocky Marciano's triumphant farewell to the boxing world. I'm glad that the time has finally come when I can, when I could accept the fight with Archie Moore. We all know he deserves it, and uh, I think you're going to see a great fight on that day. Moore felt and feels that he's going to take the championship. Now, uh, how do you feel about that? Well, he still has to prove it to me on September 20th at Yankee Stadium. Uh, I do understand that he is a confident man, and uh, I guess most of the challenges have been that way also. Introducing from San Diego, California, and Toledo, Ohio, wearing black trunks, weighing 188 even, the light heavyweight champion of the world, and challenger, Archie Moore. Moore. His opponent from Brockton, Massachusetts, wearing white trunks, weighing 188 and a quarter pounds, heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. It's round two. Archie Moore, the light heavyweight champion of the world, has over 175 fights. And down goes Rocky Marciano with a terrific right cross. Marciano fights back. He got up too soon, however, at the count of three. And now he wails into Archie Moore. Now we move along into round six of this fight. And Archie Moore has been outboxing Marciano. He opened a cut over his eye in the third round. But Moore is getting caught and down goes Archie Moore here in the sixth round. An overhand right caught him flush on the jaw. Marciano has been getting stronger and the canny veteran Archie Moore has been trying to fight back. He's tough, he's game, he's experienced, but he can't outslug Rocky Marciano. Rocky has him against the ropes, and Moore is still dangerous, though. Moore has looked for this fight for a long time, and now he's going all out to try to win it. But Marciano is so much stronger, pummeling Archie Moore against the ropes. But Moore makes a miss. Nevertheless, those punches get through. and right by Rocky Marciano. He just doesn't let up. Keeps boring in on Archie Moore and Moore is fighting back. But his punches lack the power and effectiveness of Rocky Marciano. Marciano hammer-like almost. Hitting at Archie Moore. Backing the veteran into the corner. Swinging away lefts and rights. And Moore can't keep that buzzsaw off him. Down goes Archie Moore, shaking his head as if to say, what do I have to do to stop this man? And Rocky comes right after him. Rocky, seemingly tireless, spun all the way around at the end of the round. Now we're in round eight, and Rocky Marciano has not let up one bit. Still throwing leather from all directions. Archie Moore trying to keep him off. Marciano ever advancing. Again, you see him pinned against the ropes as Marciano pummels away with rights and left. And down goes Archie Moore. Moore trying to regain his strength. Tiring badly now. Here in the eighth round, he's on his feet again. Now we go into round nine. Marciano once again hitting Archie Moore with everything he's got. The game veteran trying to stay in there with bull like Rocky Marciano who just doesn't stop throwing punches. He is exhausted. Archie would be the Brockton Blockbuster's 49th victim and 43rd knockout. 
Rocky had earned over $4 million in the ring and $2 million for personal appearances. Unlike other champions, he didn't blow his money. It was hidden, invested, and put in banks. The undefeated heavyweight champion was ready for retirement. Winner by a knockout and still heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. I would like to announce my retirement from boxing at this time. Why? I uh, promised my wife that I would retire before the month of May arrived. Uh, we were on a vacation in South America when I made that promise. I uh, didn't ever really get hurt in the ring, and I feel perfect physically, and uh, probably still had two or three good fights left. Can we ask you the standard question, who gave you the toughest? Uh, Jersey Joe Walcott in the title fight. I like to profit by others' mistakes, and if Joe Lewis couldn't make a successful comeback, I will not try it.